Check out the music. I thought the other side of that chopper said the N-word for a second there. Get freaking wrecked, mate! Son of a. Today's video has been brought to you thanks to the support of the wonderful folks over at Patreon.com, and it is linked in the video description if you would like to join them for as little as $1 per month. Thank you once again to them. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Electric Boogaloo. It sounds like we may need to proceed to the bottom platform. Is just something giving me that clue? Just a subtle hint? Uh, I don't actually remember which direction takes us to the bottom platform. I'm not sure we ever went this way. Oh, there you go. That's why we have the lab card key. Well, there you go. That makes life easier. Anyway, so what are we going to find in this room? Because it's got to have something to do with the uh, the maggots. I, I, I see nothing. Oh! Demon! Demon! No, kill it! Freaking die, bro. Uh-oh. It's spewing its gross powder on me. I believe I may be poisoned. How thoroughly irritating. Alright, well, you know, whatever. Oh, I actually remember this part. Yeah, you can totally burn them off of the keyboard. Puffy puff puff. Flamethrower fuel? Not in this economy. There we go. Nice. Right, is this one of the computers? No, never mind. That's in Resident Evil 1. I was going to say, is this one of the ones that the password is like Ada or whatever? But no. I think we did get a password though, didn't we? Wasn't it just like guest or something like that? So I think it was like guest and then password none. Let's try guest. Okay, look. I'm not actually dyslexic. I'm just stupid. We good? I think we're good. What does that do? I guess that means we're an employee now? Or like, you know, a, a, obviously a guest. So I'm assuming wherever this bottom platform is, it wouldn't have let us in without registering our fingerprint. That makes sense to me. Sure, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Now to figure out where exactly that is, because I don't know. Anyway, told you we'd use the flamethrower, didn't I? And I didn't lie, but no, we will actually use it on the next enemy. Unless it's a blasted liquor, because I actually don't think it has a lot of effect on liquors. And I ain't, I ain't risking getting beheaded for no bloody reason. The shotgun's very effective. Right, hold on, hold on. We've got to have some anti-poison, and there's a chest right here. Let's not be silly. Do we have a blue herbage? Oh dear god. No. 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 Oh, come on, bro. Oh, wait. Mixed up. Derp. Um, sure, we'll just carry it for now. I don't, again, I don't know how poison works. I don't know if we're, like, taking damage whilst we're poisoned or what. I don't remember if it wears off. I think it just depends on the Resident Evil game. I think it has different rules depending on the game. I'm lost. I think. However, isn't this where we use the MO disc? The MO disc. I'll turn very British there. The MO disc. So maybe... Oh, thank God. The sound has stopped. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's back again. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah. It must be this way. Maybe this is where we needed our fingerprint. Jesus, let's get the life out of me. Detonation. detonation. I love the accent. Um, oh good, I'm hobbling now. Okay, I'm guessing the poison is, uh... Ooh, we were in danger. Well, good job we kept the spare. Let's... Have this bad boy ready. I doubt the flamethrower will work on a boss. And I'm guessing that's what we're doing in this room. He usually refuse to reach the platform. Will you? Yes. Yes, I will. Which reminds me of the, um, the opening area of Metal Gear 1. William, we made again! Oh. Okay, hang on. Bait him. Get baited, son. Masturbated! Oh god, my health! Oh god, his health. Yo, new hit? No. How cool does that look? Look, I'm a 12 year old boy on the inside. I was gonna say, isn't it kind of like a dog now? Sort of, yes. A bad dog. Well, check out the music. Oh! 
I'm just gonna shoot him. Ah, uh, he's gonna eat me. Woo! No, 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 William, no! No, William, no! My health, my health, my health. Danger. Yeah, William, don't mess around, apparently. I feel like the handgun might be quite effective here. I'm thoroughly enjoying this music. Mm, you know what, sure. We'll try it. We'll try it. Nothing else is bloody working. Eat it, Will. This is like Pokemon, and it is not very effective. Can't. William! Okay, yeah, you know, to hell with that. About as bad as I thought it was going to be. Missed him with that? Cool. Will, please. Okay, yeah, I'm not hitting him up there. Woo! Uh, yes, yes. Both balls and the shaft, mate. Well, you know, actually, don't. Perfect turning. Your floor, sir. All right, well, that was uh, oddly terrifying. I'm, like, almost out of ammo, out of healing. Well, I could go back for the green herb, but let's be honest, I won't. I'm sure there's going to be another chest before the uh, the final boss, because no, that was not the final boss. Unless it was. Maybe that was the final boss on on uh, on the A scenario. I don't remember. No, you know, it might have been, actually. It might have been. That may actually be the end of the A scenario. The B scenario definitely has a very different ending, if so. She almost had emotion in her voice. Sherry? Are you okay? Like I'm not trying to be funny. Have have we met her as Leon? Does he know who she is? I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. He's like, there's gonna be at least a of these. And that's without the spin-offs. Goodbye, Ada. My first hot Asian girl crush. I will miss the R.I.P. She's not dead, she's in Resident Evil 4. Like, come on now. That was actually the end of the A scenario, huh? Wow. The B scenario's got quite a bit uh, quite a different ending. Alright, let's start um let's start the B scenario with Claire. Why not? Why the bloody hell not? So what I'm gonna do, I think is, uh, for one thing, apparently sit through the bloody credits, because I don't think I can skip them. What? Oh, there goes my controller. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to only show you little bits of the B scenario, because for the most part, it's exactly the same. Um, apart from, you know, like, the Mr. X encounters, the ending, the opening cutscene, very slight changes to some of the puzzles. So there's no point in me showing you me running through the same freaking areas with a different character. There's just not. So I'm going to do sort of a supercut and show you the different things in the B scenario. There's still going to be a decent amount of stuff that is different, like whole boss fights, the entire ending, etc. So yeah, I think it's still worth doing, but I don't think it's worth showing you everything. So I shan't. I'll see you in like an hour, because I think I'm going to have to sit through this. I'm just saying there should be a jump scare at the end here with, you know, the, the guy that goes Resident Evil. He should just do that. That would be great. It didn't happen, obviously, but it would be great. Oh no, now we get to see our ranking. They're like, you're shit. You saved this many times. You used this many first aid sprays. You took this long. You're garbage. C. Honestly, better than we deserved. How did that only take me three and a half hours? What a chad. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. I guess they don't show you how many times you died and what have you, but uh, they should. All right, so we're gonna make a new save, and it should now say Claire B. It does. Normally on the PlayStation, you would have to now put in the Claire disc. Resident Evil.
Reloading for no reason. That's how my voice. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> don't don't ever let me do that again. Maybe that's why they stopped putting that in the intro. Maybe like whoever had to do it was messing up their throat, and they were like, "I won't do it again." You know, it was different people. Shut up. Virus outbreak in Raccoon City. Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However, Ada! Huh. Interesting. Leon I thought we'd just start the game again. The sole survivor of the incident. A girl huh. named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. I like how they summarize Leon's entire story by like... Hey, you like this chick and she, she fell off a bridge. The rest of it doesn't matter. half of you were thinking it. I just said it out loud. That's the only difference between you and me. I'm honest. Why'd he bite me? Why'd he bite me? I love how gruff his voice is. Why'd he bite me? You see, sir, he's a zombie. Hello. It's what they do. Is anyone here? I want to point out, zombies, conceptually, are ridiculous. Apart from the fact that, like, obviously, they're dead. And they would just rot and, like, fall apart. Uh, the, hello. the concept of them eating people, right? And the people they bite becoming zombies Look, makes no I'm sense. Sorry I bothered you, okay? Because just unless they were interrupted eating closer. people, they listening? would eat the whole body, wouldn't they? And then they wouldn't be making new zombies, they'd just be killing people, and then... There would be no more zombies. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they bite people and they go, Oh, that's enough. Let him turn. I don't know. Wait, don't shoot just my thoughts. Domed, son. Not bad for a rookie. To the police station. It'll be a lot safer. I think the cutscene from this point is mostly the same. Okay. Maybe she's just socially awkward, you know? Maybe she's not a shit voice actress. Maybe Claire is just awkward. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. I can't remember if their route to the police station is actually different or if even though they end up on either side of the truck, they have the exact same route. I feel like they have the same route. But maybe not. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. Um. Okay, so it's like mirrored? Yeah, okay. No, no. I don't think it is the same route. Bam, bam, bam. We have a lockpick instead of the lighter. Okay, Claire's face does not- Ah, you bastard! Does not look weird like Ada's does. Oh! What a dodge. 
Oh. Obviously, being the beast scenario, they know you've been through the game once. It's going to be significantly more difficult. Which I'm okay with. We're playing a normal anyway. Like a coward. Even though there is definitely a hard mode, but we couldn't pick it. So, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have that in the GameCube version. Yeah, it is different. Alright, cool. Um, that guy seems... Seems alright. Uh, I feel like we need to go this way first. Goodbye. If I'm quick, I might be able to get in and out. Before he... Pins me in. The cabin key. Roger, the cabin boy. Here, sucker. I don't think there's like any ammo or anything around here, but there very well could be. Oh, the other guy's coming, I think. Oh no, he's cool. Bye. This key is garbage now. Will you get rid of the garbage? I will. Is this perhaps the, the cabin with the door that we weren't allowed out of? Oh my god, it is. You can go out there, but only as clear at the start of the game. That's crazy. Okay, I'm digging it. I am digging it. So we are going to show up near the chopper, which is, um... Oh. What the... What the hell was that noise? Um, we are going to show up near the chopper, which is, as I've already told you... I mean, again, if you've seen the remake, you know, that's it's like the whole thing. He, like, lifts up the chopper. I don't think he lifts up the chopper in this one, though. I, mm, again, I don't want to spoil too much. Hook a zombie! Some things never change. Come here, hooker zombie. And your sweet, sweet Nikes. This is cool, I like this. Hey, here we go. X gonna give it to you. I thought the other side of that chopper said the N-word for a second there. Your aim is shit. How are the machine gun at that range? Like, come on, bro. You deserve to die. And that's how the chopper crashed. Okay, I was slightly wrong. Um, that's not the chopper with Mr. X, it turns out. But there is a chopper later that drops Mr. X in. How does Mr. X show up in the remake? I don't remember. I don't think he gets airdropped, does he? I think he just pops up. I don't think they show where he comes from. I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, I think in general, I, I way prefer Claire's story. There's some really cool stuff going on with her story. Yoink. Like I said, when we get to the sort of samey stuff, uh, I'll start cutting stuff out, but for now... This is different enough. Hello there. There's so many crows, my god. I've unlocked it. I think this will take us down to the... Uh, like the staff room, I think, is down there, isn't it? Like the, the police staff room? So let's go back and try the other door. Okay, we can go through here. This is Burning Chopperville, in case you couldn't tell. Ooh, there are lickers here already. They ain't messing about. We really don't have the firepower to take it down without basically unloading all of our clip or magazine. I think it's a magazine, isn't it, for a, for a gun, a handgun. Even though it sort of clips in, so in my brain I'm like, it's a clip. But no, I think it's a magazine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Secretary Diary, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues. Oh, okay, alright, we don't care about that. It's just hint about the bloody statues, mate. I care not for your chicanery. What do we have in here? Bugger all! Cool. Uh, I'm gonna keep these with me. Like so. Do I dare try and go back past Lickerville? I really should save it. Um... Oi, what do I want to do? Fuck it. Wait, there's two of them, isn't there? Yep, that was not him hissing. Okay, since there's two of them, the hell with that. The horrible realization that I have a mic delay on because I was... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh no, I've just realized. Oh, it's gonna be like the whole episode up until this point. God damn it, hang on. I fixed it. Ah, just kill me. Whatever, just kill me. Anyway, so now, now we won't have the mic audio delay. 
So again, as I was saying, because there's two liquors there, if there were one, I go for it. Because there's two, to hell with that. Let's go somewhere else for now. The world is our oyster. Our rotten, rotten walking corpse of an oyster. I hear you. Yes, sure. Wait, hang on. Yeah. I love that they make you watch this. And how slow it is. Dramatic. Back in the day, video games weren't afraid to take your bloody time. Of course, I say that, and this game's like, what, it's taking me three and a half hours? Witcher 3 is like, what, three and a half years? Uh, I'm not going to fight you. There's nothing over there. Or is there? Um, there is. There's a medallion on the wall. Okay, so that's something that they've changed. Oh, that's thoroughly irritating. I have to waste all my ammo getting past you. So is it a waste? Yes, I would still say so. I can't tell if you're going to grab my ankle. Mm, I still don't know. Alright, let's go for it. No need to finish him off. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, when you down a zombie... Uh, I don't know, he got up really quick. Oh, library. I was going to say, maybe when you down them, if they're still on the ground and then you leave the room, do they die? I don't know. Because I feel like that happened before with like a hooker zombie or something. Or maybe I'm chanting shit. What is this? Okay, that is for killing our good friends, the Lickers. Guess where we're going? But first, let's unlock the doors with this. Oh, we need the car key. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's... There's a save room up there. We'll save up there. Why not? Yeah, no, no it's cool. I, I, I like how you come through the police station ass backwards. It feels very different. Really good way of doing it. I bet... It's the same sort of concept, right, with um, using like mirror mode or something in like a Mario Kart track. You're like, it's the same track, it's just backwards. But, I mean, also, they've, they've moved stuff around. Here, not in Mario Kart. Also, interestingly, it's just occurred to me that Claire obviously got to the police station before Leon did because the chopper was already crashed here when Leon gets here. And the grenade launcher that was on the counter was on the counter. Why? Because Claire's already been here and taken it. When you think about it that way, you're like, oh, that's actually quite clever design. I appreciate that. Get freaking wrecked, mate. Son of a. So what you're telling me is I missed you with both of those. How much damage did you do? Quite a bit. Unfortunate. This is going very poorly. The temptation to reload the blasted game. I won't do it, though. I will not do it. I should probably do it. I'm going to do it. You know why? Don't have a choice. That one's a mulligan, right? Everyone gets one. You get like one where you're like, okay, I screw that up big time. Next time. Will probably statistically not go as bad because I don't think it can by the law of averages. I feel like I would have to intentionally try to miss to do worse. You have once again stepped into the world of survival, survival, blah, 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 survival horror. Good luck. Don't need luck, baby. I was born bad. Bad like good, like bad to the bone. Like, not bad like awful at video game. Shut up. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Son of a... Fuck you and your iframes, you little bastard. Anger. Anger flowing through my veins. That's right, finished with a handgun. With style. That's like pinning your opponent with your foot in wrestling instead of giving them a proper cover. Just call me the Great Carly. Skillless and large. Anyway, uh, let's put this shit away. For those that understood that reference, they'll be like, ha! Huh. For the, the rest of you, like, what? What is he talking about? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you don't get it, it's cool. It's just not important. One for the dance, you know? Or, or something. Anyway, where the hell did I come from? I came from the other door, didn't I? Uh, that's right, we need to put this out. Why am I even coming this way? I don't even need to. Whatever. Anyway, that seems like a good place to end the episode. I think? I don't, I, I don't know how long I've been recording. I've reset this thing more than, uh, um, uh, something you reset a lot. A modem. I don't know. Anyway, 
I think this is like episode length. It'll do any anyhow. So cool so far. Really actually digging this. Way more varied than I remembered it being. I remember them being very samey apart from some of the boss fights and some of the story stuff, but um no, it's actually kind of cool. Like I said, there, there will be chunks that I cut out, but uh, for now, if it's different enough, it is different enough. Now realizing, you know, I'm going to use a save state. I'm going to use a ribbon. Fuck it. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for the support in the series, and stick around for part two of Claire's B scenario playthrough. Like I said, the entire ending is completely different. The final boss is different. The story is completely different. Like there's all this stuff with Sherry and Police Chief Irons and da 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 da. It's really cool. Uh, so check it out next episode. Good night, everybody, and goodbye. And thank you so much to this month's patrons. I genuinely could not do this without their support. Patreon.com slash MrAsNLP if you would like to join them. Their names this month are... Anarchy C, CJM, The Propagator, Sakanzi, Colby Ruth Holden, Draconis2987, Zadnamar, Iceclave, Brett D, Alex, Manuel Satula Garcia, Alex Lee, not a porpoise, King Steel, that EV, Raptor Zero, Falcon 5982, Fibkin, Tri Magnus, Malcolm Davis, Aaron Bridges, Darth Hamos, Conrad 82, Lime Green Daggy, Israfel, Meep Sheep, I Am Scarecrow 666, Edith W, Justin Alexander, Darkstar 0915, Nickerin, Trent123, Bloodpire, Rexburum, Awena 1997, Luna Parker, Black Wolf 8994, Miss Justice 83, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Billy Nine, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Jonathan Eriks, Philip Rep, and Hitbox. Thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.